Hey guys, it's Metacosis Perfect Snatus, where medicine makes perfect sense. Let's continue our playlist called Labs. In previous videos, we talked about lactic acid, lactate dehydrogenase, pseudocholinesterase, true cholinesterase, anti-acetylcholine receptor antibodies, beta-2 microglobulins, Benz-Jones proteins, and even urine electrophoresis. Today, we have another test for the urine. It's part of urinalysis or urine analysis, which is the odor of the urine. What does your urine smell say about you? Let's find out and let's get started. Please watch the videos in this playlist in order. Joseph Sapira said, quote, The usefulness of the doctor's nose as a diagnostic tool was recognized more than 2,000 years ago by Hippocrates. Let's start by not talking about the urine, but talking about the stool. Why is your stool foul smelling? Could be a liver problem, pancreatic problem, or intestinal problem. If you cannot absorb fat, you will have fat in the stool, which is foul smelling. Next, musty or rat-like odor of the body or the urine is phenylketonuria, pseudomonas aeruginosa infection, pellagra, or some cancers. Next, my urine smells like boiled cabbage or rancid butter or rotten fish. Reminds me of Gordon Ramsay. Hey, big boy, listen, it's rancid. F me. This could be tyrosinemia, trimethylaminuria, or hypermethionemia. Next, my urine smells like rotten eggs. Do you remember the lab test that you did in school of hydrogen sulfide or H2S? It smelled horribly. So this could be because of the presence of hydrogen sulfide in the urine. Or it could be cystinuria, sulfur dioxide, methylmercaptan, and sulfhemoglobinemia. It's all about sulfur here. Next, sweaty feet or rancid cheese odor of the urine. This could be isovaleric acidemia or glutaric aciduria. Next, burnt sugar or caramel-like odor of the urine is maple syrup urine disease. How about fruity odor, not just of the breath, but of the urine too, like decomposing apples, diabetic ketoacidosis, starvation ketoacidosis, alcoholic ketoacidosis, any ketoacidosis, chloroform, salicylates, and phenol. And if it ends in all, it has an alcohol group, just like cholesterol, sorbitol, and others. What if my breath or vomitus or hemoptysis smell rotten or putrid? That could be an infection. If my urine smells like this, it's a urinary tract infection. My urine smells like bitter almonds. This is cyanide. Firefighters or victims of burns present to the hospital with bitter almond breath equals cyanide poisoning. Use your nose, use your brain. Next, stale beer odor of the sweat or skin or urine is a disease known as scrofula. How about garlic odor? Could be arsenic poisoning, selenium poisoning, thallium, organophosphate poisoning, malathion, parathion, these are organophosphates, as you know. And you can smell these in the urine of victims exposed to war gases. Next, my urine smells like wintergreen. Then you have too much oil of wintergreen. That's what aspirin is. Aspirin has a nickname, oil of wintergreen. So this is salicylate. Aspirin is derived from the willow tree. Ancient Egyptians used the willow tree to treat pain. 7,000 years later, modern sophisticated man uses the product of the willow tree to treat pain. Hashtag progress. Next, the urine smells like my underarm. This is puberty. The odor is nauseatingly sweet, like rotting apples, like champagne in a serosanguinous discharge. Sero means serum or watery. Sanguineous means bloody. This is myonecrosis or gas gangrene. This will not be in the urine, but it could be in a wound infection anywhere in the body, including near the urinary tract. How about some burnt hemp odor? This is marijuana. Camphor odor. It means that you have ingested something that you should have not. How about coal gas odor, combustion action? This could be carbon monoxide poisoning. Carbon monoxide itself is odorless, but it's associated with coal gas, which has an odor. How about metallic odor? I know it's very hard to describe odors in language terms, but this is the description of iodine. How about some shoe polish? That's nitrobenzene. How about ammonia-like odor in the urine? 
This could be urinary tract infection, especially by the urease positive organisms like Proteus, Klebsiella, etc. Ammonia like odor in the skin or the breath could be liver failure or kidney failure. What's the normal urine odor? You have told us about all of these abnormal odors. What's the normal? It should be aromatic. It should has an odor. Go smell your own urine. Then it becomes foul smelling. We suspect infection. Fruits like odor ketonuria could be diabetic ketoacidosis, starvation ketoacidosis, alcoholic ketoacidosis, etc. Stool like odor in the urine. It means that there is a connection between your gastrointestinal system and your urinary system, like a fistula between your intestines and the bladder, between the intestines and the urethra, between the intestine and the ureter, etc. Could even be between the rectum and the bladder. recto fistula. How about the musty odor, phenylketonuria, and the burnt sugar, maple syrup, urine disease? These are the most important odors to memorize. Don't forget that certain foods give your urine characteristic smell, especially asparagus. If the urine sample is left to sit or stand for a long time, it can acquire ammonia-like action. That's why for urine test, the sample has to be fresh to make Gordon Ramsay happy. You can dig deeper into the topic of abnormal odors by watching my video titled Abnormal Body Odors. One of the most heavily tested topics on your board exam is to differentiate between diabetic ketoacidosis and alcoholic ketoacidosis. You can learn about both of them and the difference between them by downloading my acid base imbalance course at medicosisperfectionalist.com. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, hit the bell and click on the join button. You can support me here or here. Go to my website to download my courses. Be safe, stay happy, study hard. This is Medicosis Perfectionalis, where medicine makes perfect sense.